Then we have another room like the first room where we have these two person desks and they need to all line up straight and hopefully evenly spaced. So this room is a bit more of a challenge because see these desks don't go up against the wall so I can't mark the wall. So how am I going to do this? Well, what I want to do is mark the floor and it's really difficult to find a way to mark the floor that's going to stay there because we periodically have to come in here and clean the floors. We come in with some uh, carpet extraction equipment and, and clean these floors. And if, so if we put some tape on there or something, it's going to get ripped up every time we'd have to redo it. But what I discovered is, see right here, just using a Sharpie, you can mark on the floor where these desks go. And again, I just measured the classroom and measured where the desks should be so they're evenly spaced. And the thing about Sharpie, you really can't see it unless you're looking for it. Now, I'm looking for it because I'm moving the desk, but uh, when students come in here, nobody's going to notice that there's any marks on the floor. And I use a straight edge to keep it a little nice so it doesn't look like somebody just scribbled on the floor. And when you extract the carpets, that uh, the ink does not come up. There's a kind of gel we can use that will take the ink out if we want to, if ever the uh, desks need to be moved. You can see the map up there shows us where to put things, so I just follow the map, measure out the room, mark the floor, and just start at one end, just start at the back, and start on one side, and just move the desk in place. And it goes much faster than it used to when nothing was marked. And it's also much more evenly spaced, so you don't have, you know, people in the second row aren't crowded by the third row, and the first row doesn't have all this space.